So, welcome back to another Tuesday tip with the Watkins team. I am Denise. And I'm Reginald. And we are the Watkins team at TriStar Realty located in Bowie, Maryland. Today, we want to come to you and share some tips about how to hire the right contractor. Mm. When you're hiring a contractor, it can be quite stressful, especially if you're dealing with a major home renovation project or just minor repairs. You know, sorting out those details beforehand can save you a lot of money and some time. Today, Reginald is, has decided to take off his realtor hat and put on his contractor's hat because he is a licensed contractor and he's going to guide us through some tips and strategies and questions that you can ask a, home, a contractor when you're ready to start your home project. So Reginald, let me ask you, how do you start when you're looking to hire a contractor? Okay, well being a contractor myself with Peace Mechanical LLC, I have people that call me uh, either through reference, sometimes they've gotten my name uh, off of one of my business cards from someone else, or they've seen um, at a business, because I do take my business cards and set them at a business, they can look me up online, uh, they can actually Google me. Right. So those are different ways that if I'm going to hire a contractor, and, and that's also one of the ways that people have reached out to me yes. to find a contract. Yes, and being a real estate agent, you know, we're in the referral business. Yes. You know, people want to know who they're working with. Mm -hmm. But this is not about real estate, not especially real being a real estate agent, but this is about hiring the right contractor. Mm -hmm. One of the things that people want to know is how long have you been in business? Is right. that important? It's very important because what it, it does is establish um, a little longevity of how, an experience of how much does this contractor know, how long has he been in the business, right. and also it also lets them know um, how much you sh seem like you should know for being in the business as far as technology. Sometimes when we're doing older homes, if you've only been in the business a short period of time, you wouldn't know about a lot of things dealing with historic districts right. and things of that right. nature. So experience is very, very mm -hmm. important because that's something you want to ask them is have you worked on projects similar to mine? Mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, historical homes are totally different totally than different. A, a newer home. Yes. Yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So what about, you said something earlier about references. Yeah, because... Um, yeah, one of the things, too, when you're looking at trying to hire a contractor is I would rather hire someone that someone either has done work from right. or that this contractor is um, rated by the Better Business Bureau. Absolutely. Um, That's somehow or another that this contractor has enough validation and has worked for enough people and done enough jobs to have a, a good rapport with his community. Yeah, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. And what about workman comp insurance. Should you be asking a contractor about any kind of insurance? Because I think that's yeah, important. Yeah, it's very important. As with myself, what I usually do is anybody that I take on as a new client, right. I, I give them a copy of my insurance and my bond okay. and license number. So I want them to feel comfortable with me yeah. to know that if anything happens on their job, heaven forbid she <laughs> doesn't, that they're covered. They're, they feel comfortable right. knowing that, you know, yeah. their, their property is secured. So that insurance comes in like a certificate. It's called yes. Certificate of Insurance, and it mm -hmm. has your it, it policy numbers on it. Yes. It has the, um, mm -hmm. the, when it started, when it expires. So yes. that is something that and you really... And that's very good that you said expiration, because you don't want somebody giving you a copy of one that is... <laughs> that's already expired. Right. They're not covered. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay, another thing... You know, who supervises the project? I mean, just because you come in with the, with the contract and uh, you're presenting your services, clients want to know who's going to show up at their house that morning. You know what? Usually, in, well, at least with myself, I'm the person that supervises the job and at the same time oversees the job. Right. Um, and when I have somebody who works with me, I have to make sure that they're able to follow my instructions and that... Um, if it requires for them to have liability, I have to make sure they're liable under my bond and in insurance yes. at, at the same time. And, and that's where workers work with compensation comes in. Yes, you're covering yes. each person who mm -hmm. works works on um, for you. And even then, to make sure that even for myself uh, and what other companies do is to make sure if they have to hire a subcontractor, right. because I personally couldn't do every aspect of my business, so I do sub out for some of the services. Mm -hmm that I may have for a job. So you want to make sure that person carries all the proper insurance and liabilities right, as well. Right. Now, one other question, and I'm going to make this short because I know we're running out of time. All right. But um, how do I know I'm getting a fair bid, a fair offer, a fair price? Well, let me say this here, and it's switching back to your side again. As the customer or client, you want to, 
it makes sense to get more than one reference or proposal from uh, a con different contractor. Yes. So get bid out, as they say mm -hmm. in this business. Right. Um, get and that way you get a, to compare the proposals that right. each contract, and you want to be fair to make sure that those uh, proposals are equal to one another because mm -hmm. you don't want one saying one thing and the other saying the other because you won't get a good reference the, or feel for right. what the proper um. Right. Um, balance is on the proposal. Yeah, and that's like comparing apples to apples. You mm -hmm. know, you don't want to get a proposal that's saying we're going to add this in one section and another one saying this section and another one is saying this section. You can't compare the two. No, it wouldn't be fair to the either right. contractor. Right. You never want to show any of those well, bids to other you know contractors. What? I the... think in this business, <laughs> to for people to have integrity would be the best thing because uh, I would not take a bid from someone that's trying to show me what the other person. It, it has right. done because I want to do it on right. my own merit. Right. Okay, so we share with you some great ideas and some questions that you want to ask contractors if you decide to hire one. But there are four other things I want to share with you real quickly. That's okay. Payment, time, expectations, and getting things in writing. All of those so are very important. So tell me about the payments. Can you go through this real quick? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Say someone, I put in a proposal or bid for a job. Uh, one of the things is we have, the bid is going to have what the proposed amount of it is. So also we want to decide how much are these people going to pay me up front. Yes, um, very and, important. Right, and, and, and whatever interval. Say and like the, the method. The, the method, method of right. Payment. Saying you if said, it's going to, yeah. One, I remember one of your clients, you were able, they were able to pay you they through were a cash through, app. They were able to pay me through a cash that, app. And that way I was able to keep receipts and of everything and the amounts that they paid right. me. But sometimes right. I get paid through a check. Sometimes uh, you can be wired money. Mm -hmm. um, so there's so many different forms of payment. Right. The biggest thing is to agree on that payment and make sure it's in your it, contract. Yes, make sure you get it in writing. Mm -hmm. um, time? Oh, my. Make time sure. is very important because um, most people want you in and out of their property or for repairs or renovations. So time is important, as we always say in the business, of, is of the yeah, essence. Right. Um, to make sure that there is a deadline to say, hey, if I'm going to be replacing these um, ceiling fans and there's this many of them, I should be able to give them a time parameter. Right. Or if I'm doing something, building an addition, I should give them some be able to time frame to say, okay, I'll be able to finish this edition in a month. Right. I'll be able to get the inspections done and all of those other things. Hopefully where there's no delays because mm -hmm. that is something that could create a problem. Right. And you know, setting the expectations, you know, when you're meeting with the homeowner, they want to know, like you said, the time, the payment, mm -hmm. but who's going to carry away some of the trash and debris that's on the property? Those Once things, again. who's going to move yeah. the furniture if they're going to mm -hmm. replace carpet? Those are things that you need to talk about to on, your client. Communicate it in yes, the contract. Up front before mm -hmm. any work gets started. Right. So there you have it. I mm -hmm. know we just went over our time, but these are things that are very important to us and want them to, want them to be important to you as mm -hmm. well. So we, we'll be back next Tuesday. But before we close, if you enjoyed what you watched here today, subscribe. Right. Share. Tell your, yes, right. Tell mm -hmm. your friends, tell your family, and hit the like button. And if you have any questions about any of the things we talk about or anything you want to know about, put it in the comment section. We promise we'll respond back to you. We will. My name is Denise. I'm Reginald. And we'll see you next Tuesday.